Headline tonight in Hannity's America, the president and the first lady enjoyed a romantic evening on Saturday night. Now, President Obama whisked his wife off to Manhattan for dinner and a Broadway play. But that celebration cost you a minimum of $20,000. But the administration, the most transparent in the history of the country, they won't give us the actual figures. Now, first, there were the three planes required to make the trip possible, one to carry the Obamas and two more to transport aides and reporters to the Big Apple and back. Then there were the two helicopters that were used to carry everybody from JFK Airport to their destination in Manhattan. Now, all this sounds like a pretty extravagant evening for the guy who had this to say just a few days before he took office. Everybody's going to have to give. Everybody's going to have to have some skin in the game. Now, I guess by everybody, the president meant all of you, and I hope you've been saving up because you're about to foot the bill for all of his luxury and extravagance. The far left New York Times columnist Paul Krugman made an appearance yesterday on ABC's This Week to defend Supreme Court nominee Sonia Sotomayor. Now, Mr. Krugman tried to defend the judge's statement that Hispanic women make wiser judicial decisions than white men. Let's take a look. What amazes me about all this is that this was a speech, right? The famous line comes from a speech where she was trying to be entertaining. And, you know, have I, I, I was thinking about this, has, have I somewhere along the line said something like, I like to think that uh, bright Jewish kids from suburban New York make the best economists? <laughs> have somewhere along the line. It doesn't mean anything, right? She's trying to, to make a little bit of, of who she well, is. The judicial record shows nothing of this. The judicial record shows a straight, mainstream, careful judge. All right, so Paul Krugman thinks that Judge Sotomayor is moderate. Mainstream America, run for your life. And now it's time for Great Moments in Liberal Foreign Policy. And tonight's great moment in liberal foreign policy is brought to you by the San Francisco Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Now, last week we told you about Speaker Pelosi's strange trip to China. It is strange for Mrs. Pelosi, who was known for her denunciation of the Chinese government's human rights abuses, but she didn't say a word about the issue during this visit. Well, now we know why. Politico.com reports that Chinese officials privately pressured her and her office to curtail meetings with dissidents so as not to embarrass the communist regime. So Speaker Pelosi ran her mouth about global warming all week and about the need to bring, quote, environmental justice to mainland China. She met with human rights activists. She did that behind closed doors, all of which I'm sure made the powers that be in China very, very happy. I'm sure the dissidents felt quite differently. And finally tonight, a Scottish video game company is making the Gitmo experience available to Xbox players worldwide. Now, the T-Enterprise company is set to release a game called Rendition Guantanamo, where players control a detainee at the camp for fun. Now, the game is set in the year 2010, and the U.S. has sold the prison to a mysterious agency called the Freedom Corporation. According to the London Telegraph, the game's detainees is subjected to torture and scientific experiments. And guess what? Former Gitmo detainee Moazem Beg, who was released by the Bush administration in 2005, well, he's serving as a consultant for the game's creators. Even better, Beg is receiving a financial kickback for all that hard work. Lovely, isn't it? Another video game you don't want to buy for your kids. And that is the news tonight from Hannity.